Welcome to my channel, detailing events throughout the decades. 2000. The Caprun Disaster. The Glitscherbund 2 was a funicular railway running from Caprun to the Kitsis Tinhorn. It was first opened in 1974. The railway consisted of two carriages on a single track, with another section which allowed the other train to pass halfway. The carriages were capable of carrying up to 180 passengers. One train would take passengers up the mountain, while the other would bring them back down. It was on November 11, 2000, at roughly 9 in the morning, when 161 skiers boarded the train along with the conductor and made their way up the mountain to the Kitzsteinhorn Glacier. The train was traveling up the tunnel, when in the lower end of the train, the unattended conductor's cabin's electric heater caught fire. The fire melted through the plastic pipes which contained flammable hydraulic fluid for the braking system. This caused the loss of fluid pressure and resulted in the train quickly coming to a stop. The train's conductor was located in his cabin at the upper end of the train. He soon realized that a fire had begun and reported this to the control center, unaware at how bad the situation would become. He attempted to open the hydraulically operated train doors to allow the passengers out of the carriages, but the loss of pressure prevented the doors from opening, leaving the passengers trapped inside the carriages with the fire now worsening. Contact was quickly lost to the control center as the fire burned through the power cable, causing a blackout. Passengers quickly started to panic as they came aware that they were unable to exit through the doors. Passengers attempted to break the windows to try and get out. Eleven passengers from the rear of the train did manage to break a window and escape. Following the advice of a passenger who had been a volunteer firefighter, they made their way down past the fire and smoke, back towards the beginning of the tunnel. Passengers still trapped inside the carriages were now starting to lose consciousness due to the toxic smoke and fumes. The conductor eventually managed to get the doors open, allowing those passengers still conscious to escape into the tunnel, but they made the mistake of heading up the tunnel away from the fire. The tunnel acted like a chimney, sucking oxygen from the bottom and sending toxic smoke, heat and flames up the tunnel, towards those passengers who had managed to escape. Those passengers along with the conductor were quickly asphyxiated by the smoke, and burned by the flames. The second train was descending the tunnel at the time the fire started. On board was the conductor and one passenger. They would both die of smoke inhalation. Smoke quickly reached the Alpine Center at the top of the tunnel, where employees quickly fled, alerting other employees and customers of the danger. The center quickly filled up with smoke and people inside had to quickly make their way to the emergency exit to escape. However, they made the mistake of leaving the emergency exit doors open, which increased the chimney effect inside the tunnel, intensifying the fire. Most of the people inside the center did manage to escape, but four people were found still inside the center by firefighters. They did manage to save one of the four people, but sadly the others died of asphyxiation. Rescuers tried hard to reach the train inside the tunnel, but their efforts were hampered by the thick toxic smoke. The rescuers worked in short bursts of around 90 minutes, due to the physical and psychological grueling conditions. Rescuers reported seeing melted rubber from ski boots on the metal rungs of the escape ladders. It was found that in most cases, those who had perished in the fire had to be identified by DNA testing. After the tragedy, it was found that 155 people had died in the fire. 150 people were found from the train trying to escape, with two others found from the descending train, and three from the mountain station. 37 of these victims were under the age of 20. The only survivors from the train were those passengers who had escaped and made their way past the fire traveling downwards. Austria observed two days of national mourning after the disaster. The official inquiry into the fire determined that the cause was the failure, overheating and ignition of the electric heater installed inside the conductor's cabin. This type of heater was not designed for use inside a moving train. 
a slow leak of highly flammable hydraulic oil was ignited by the burning heater. This then melted the plastic fluid lines, feeding the flames and resulting in the hydraulic pressure loss. This meant that the train came to an abrupt stop, and the failure of the doors being opened. It was determined that this was a disaster waiting to happen. Sixteen people were charged in connection with the fire, but on February 19, 2004, all sixteen were acquitted. They were all cleared of criminal negligence. It was found that there was insufficient evidence to find any of those involved responsible for the conditions which led to the fire. However, this decision outraged the relatives of those who had perished in the fire that day. They were further outraged in September 2007 when the public prosecutor's office determined that the manufacturer of the electric heater was also not responsible for the fire. After the tragedy, the tunnel was never reopened. Instead, it was replaced by other means of transportation to get skiers to the glacier. The stations were completely abandoned and the tunnel sealed. The track remained unused. However, as of 2014, the track and supporting structure below the tunnel was completely removed, leaving just a gap in the trees to indicate where it once stood. Forever remembering the Austrians, Germans, Japanese, Slovenians, Dutch, Britain and Czech people who perished on that tragic day. May you always be remembered. Thank you for watching and learning about these tragic events throughout the decades. Please subscribe to my channel to view other tragic events throughout history.